Donegal is Happy, recently produced by Donegal TV, proved to be a huge internet sensation and was filmed here at several iconic locations across the county. Here we look at the highlights of this very unique Donegal experience. We caught up with Denise Blake, one of the chief organisers of the production. Donegal's Happy started, there had been these videos of the Happy videos, Paris, Dublin, Belfast, um, and I posted Galway's Happy. And Grace Ann McGarvey saw it that night, it was a Sunday, a Tuesday night, um, and she said, Shane Wallace, we should do this idea. Because it just happened that the three of us were all kind of online at the one time. So it became very quickly, we should do this. But every other happy video is a city. But we knew we had to do the county. So it was very quickly, we could get this, we could get the Melton Pantomime Society, we'd get this group, we'll go to Sleeve League, we'll go to Mound Head, we'll do this. So within about 20 minutes, there was a very, very loose plan. And then the next day, the Facebook page started, Donegal is Happy. And we started to post pictures, who would like to take part, who would like to be here, and it was the different scenic spots of Donegal that we could figure. We had 10 days. We knew we were, we were under a time pressure, so we had to get it done. So we had decided it was that weekend of the 28th of February that we had to start rolling. So we knew that we were going to be in Glencom Kill at 10 o'clock on the Friday morning and that we were going to finish that Sunday evening. And in between time, we had 27 locations <laughs> that we hit in three days. There was Shane Wallace, Shane Murphy, myself, Grace Ann McGarvey and Lisa Burkett, five of us. It was online that Tuesday. We had posted a lot of photographs from all the locations in the days after the shooting. Um, and we had said we would let them know right away. So then the word was, it's going to be online. It's going to be online in an hour. And then suddenly it was online and the feedback came back very quickly. And you could see the views rising very, very quickly. And it was being shared out from each of the locations because at this stage, that small crew of five was now an awful lot of people who, who were part of the video. So it started to rise very, very quickly. So it was 5,000, 10,000, 100,000. It was, it was wonderful. And then I get the phone call to say, you'll never guess who's been in touch, who wants to post the video, and Oprah Prime. Oprah Prime had been in touch and they wanted to use part of the video as part of the homage to Pharrell during the interview. The, the very idea that Oprah Prime had been in touch with us, that was news in itself. So we started to contact the local papers and the national papers and that became very quickly big stuff. And we had to keep getting the message out that there was only a segment of the video going to be used. It wasn't going to be the whole video, but to be, to be part of the show at all was amazing. And as she's shown the different countries, it comes to Fanny Lighthouse and it says Ireland under it. And then it comes to McGettigan Butchers. And she says to Pharrell, this is amazing. And then the video continues. And then at the end of the video, he's, he's in tears because he's so emotional, the whole video. And, and we were just so relieved that, that it had happened, you know. <laughs> Oprah said to him, I can understand how this works, this, it came from a pure space, and you nearly feel that. He said at the start when the song first came out, that he says zero airplay, nothing, and then suddenly, boom. And as you say, there is, he's a talented musician and producer, and he has shared this song. And to this day, I walk into a shop and I hear the song playing, and you just, you feel good. And it's partly the song and it's partly our own experience now that makes it even special.